Assalamu alaikum, I'm Monica Sarker, and today I'll be talking about Al-Hakim as one of Allah's 99 names. Um, so Al-Hakim, it means the most wise. It's a name and a trait that we know, but most of us, we tend to forget. There are many like life situations where we go through where we have a lot of problems and stuff, and we forget that God is most wise. We're always like, we always put God in this um, human kind of uh, idea where he's limited and he doesn't know as much as we do, but that's not the case. In fact, God knows so much more than us. The, the good, the bad, everything, you name it. Like, it's everything is for the good and only he knows why he's doing certain things in our lives. So in uh, chapter 18 in the Quran, um, there's a story where uh, Moses was giving a speech and he was talking about one of the people that was listening to him they were like oh Moses are you the most wisest do you know everything and he's like yes I do and then God comes up not physically comes up to him but goes to him and tells him that you do not act, you actually do not know everything there's someone who's always who knows more than you and he's like who's this guy and then God takes him to this man named Kadir and Kadir w said to Moses, don't question anything I do or, uh, or say and just go along with it. So Moses said, okay, I will. So as they're walking, Kadir sees a boat and what he, plans, what he ends up doing is pretty much breaking the boat into pieces and it eventually sinks and Moses gets mad and he's like, why, why did you do this? You know, like this is for people like people who need to use this for transportation and whatnot. And um, Kadir was like, did I not tell you? Don't question what I do. Just just go along with it. And most like, okay, sure. And then as they're walking forward, eventually Kadir, he kills this little boy. And Moses goes like, okay, there is no such explanation of why you could possibly do this. You can't be killing a little boy. That's really bad. And, he's, and then Kadir's like, nope, you need, like I said before, listen to what I say and do, just don't question it. And then Moses is like, okay, sure. And so as they're walking on forth, and what ends up happening is um, a wall falls down and what happens is Kadir ends up putting it back up and rebuilding it up basically. And Moses is like, why did you do that? You could have gotten money for it. You know, you just did it for free. <clears throat> and then by then Kadir got fed up and he said, you know what? Let me explain to you why I did all that. The reason why uh, Kadir first destroyed the boat was because the the workers that was taking the boat, there was a king uh, in the sea that was looking for, for the boat and the workers and was planning to um, kill them. And that was the reason why he removed it for the workers' benefit. And the reason why he killed a little boy was because he was going to grow up to be a mischievous, rebellious person who was going to hurt his parents and just be a bad person overall. And his parents were really good believers, but they, I guess that boy wasn't suitable for them. And the reason why he rebuilt um, the wall was because Underneath that wall was a treasure for these two orphans where their father had buried for them once they grow older. So basically, you know, Moses was like, wow, okay, wow. And then he, you know, they walked apart. And so basically that shows, that story shows that um, God has a lot of knowledge. And a lot of us tend to forget that. That shows that we should have full reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether it's bad or good, because at the end of the day, everything He wants for us, it's always good. So even in the negative, there's something good, and we might not see it right away, we might not see it the next day or a few days later or months later, but you will see it in the future. When you look back to it, you're like, wow, I'm so happy that this didn't happen because I was begging and praying for it and it didn't happen. And alhamdulillah, it didn't because now I've got something better. So, inshallah, you guys learned a thing or two from this. And um, thank you for watching. Take care. Shundar Pritibi Manush Poshu Paki Shagoro Nodi Allahu